to Karma. Well, tonight was the first public showing of a new documentary about the nation's deadliest drunk driving bus crash. The viewing of impact comes just one day after the 25th anniversary of that crash. 27 people were killed when a drunk driver going the wrong way on Interstate 71 hit a church bus. 1111's Maggie Ruper joins us now in our studio with more. Maggie? Melissa, we spoke with people after the screening who said it was very well done, and that is likely because some of the survivors were actually producers of the film. They ultimately want this to raise awareness about the dangers of drinking and driving. Memory is our keepsake with which we will never part. God has you in his keeping. We have you in our heart. You can hear it was like... This documentary is going to reach out across the world and change people's lives. Quentin Higgins was on the school bus when a drunk driver hit it head-on in Carroll County, Kentucky on May 14, 1988. Now, 25 years later, the story is told in the film titled Impact. It was so unreal, so surreal, that I really didn't know what I was looking for. The Carroll County bus wreck is the worst drunken driving accident in U.S. history. One of the hardest things in my life was being a pallbearer my best friend's funeral. Here we go. Get in there close. After three years in the making, tonight at the Hardin County Schools Performing Arts Center, the film debuted to the people, many who lost and endured so much. Brought back a lot of memories for me. My son was supposed to be on that bus. The screening also reunited survivors, but among the photos and the smiles was the underlying message that director Jason Epperson wanted to be felt. What happens when... Uh, when you make one bad decision, what can happen and how many lives that it would affect? You never get over the loss of someone you love. And I also know that if I hadn't loved so deeply, it would not have happened. The director says they are going to submit impact to film festivals this summer, and they're working on a distribution deal so that it can be given to everyone, seen for everyone. But all those involved in making this say they also want it to be an educational tool. Maggie Ruber, 11 at 11. All new tonight here on 11 at 11, bourbon on post. Liquor producer Brown Foreman and Fort Knox are mixing two Kentucky traditions, bourbon and the military. The Woodford Reserve Room made its debut tonight. Soldiers can now gather and relax while sipping whiskey made in the Bluegrass State. 11-11's Chelsea Rabideau joins us live outside Fort Knox now with more on this new addition and unusual twist there. Hey, Chelsea. It is a very unusual twist. It was a big day on post. Fort Knox became the very first U.S. military installation to have a Woodford Reserve brand room, making it a very historic part of the bourbon trail. With a standard pair of oversized scissors, the Woodford Reserve Room opened at the Saber and Quill Club at Fort Knox. We needed something new. I mean, they did. They needed something new. This is great. But it's more than just your standard opening. We're the only Army installation to have this. And not just Army, this room is the first of its kind on any military installation. Fort Knox partnered with Brown Foreman to open the room after they heard from soldiers, their families, and employees that the post was missing a taste of Kentucky. It's either horses or bourbon, one of the two, and like I said out there, we have a hard time getting the horses inside the club here. For sale were limited edition bottles of Woodford Reserve bourbon. But it's kind of cool. I mean, it's got uh, the grand opening on there, the date, Fort Knox. It represents a little camaraderie, brings us together as a team, gives us a place to go makes it fun for the whole community. Through this partnership, we're able to come together and meet halfway and be able to provide yet an another venue for the community, this beautiful room we're in right now, where people can come and, and kind of meet, and it really is a sense of community as you come in here. The venue can be booked for many different types of events. You can have wedding receptions there. They're planning on holding some promotions there and also some unit meetings. Anything that you can imagine, it's available for booking. Reporting live from Fort Knox, Chelsea Rabideau, 11 at 11.